I, I almost don't want to do anything here. I almost just want to, like, let it stay here. We can we can reset it. That's fine. We'll get one with the bomb rush. We'll get two. We'll get we'll get a wipe with the bomb rush. We'll we'll run it. We'll run it. We were at a, in doing a fire drill. I've probably told this story to some of you before, but we're doing a fire drill and we go out. Yes, level ten. We're ready to do ranked. That's good timing. Um. We, we go outside, and the, the plan is that we line up in different sections of the parking lot. We're, we're lining up in the, the parking lot because, like, you need to make sure that there aren't any kids left inside a burning building. And when we do a fire drill... Yes, ranked battles. Very good, very good. When you do a fire drill, you, you treat it like it's the real thing, and you tell all the kids to treat it like a real thing. And you don't tell the kids that it's going to be a drill. You just let the alarm go off and have them respond as they would to any other situation where the fire alarm goes off. So that, that way, when the fire alarm going off is real, they don't just treat it like, oh, it's just a drill. You know, they, they go and do the same thing that they always did, and it feels like they've actually practiced it. We're going out, and I'm taking this very seriously, and we've got our class in a line. I'm making sure that, you know, the class is nice and quiet. But I'm noticing as I'm taking roll that they're getting a little giggly. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? Who's doing something funny? I'm looking around and keeping, like, an eagle eye on my kids, being like, who's, you know, making a funny face or whatever. And I realize that they're not looking at any of my kids. They're looking behind me. I turn around, and there is a fifth grader on the other side of the parking lot standing right at the front of his line, flossing, and has been doing so for a while. And there are other kids around who are, like, I'm noticing in other classes who are looking at this and giggling. And I'm not going to go and leave my class to go to that other class way across the parking lot and say, Hey, this is distracting. We're making sure that there aren't kids in a burning building. But it was a pretty significant disruption, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was making it more difficult because, you know, j even the, you get a hundred people together in one spot, right? And just a little bit of murmuring, a little bit of snickering. Like, it only takes about, like, three kids who are, you know, making any kind of noise with their mouths to make it a little bit more difficult to focus on what is being said that's important. And you add any more to that and it starts to get more difficult for the people, especially in the back, to hear. And when we're taking role, and there are that many teachers that all have to be saying things, and that many kids that all have to be responding, that's a lot of noise we're already generating. And even that tiny little bit of snickering can actually make it more difficult for us to do our jobs and quickly figure out if there are kids inside a burning building. <sighs> so, that's what teaching is like. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's get into the, the arrow spraying. I, I promise I'm not stalling. I want to be a teacher, but I hate discipline. Discipline is going to be 80% of your job as a teacher. The other parts of your job are wonderful. Oh my god. Like, if I... Even with the discipline parts, if all I had to do as a teacher was the part that I did in the classroom with the kids, I would never have left. So rewarding. Love seeing a cross-section of society like that. Um, it's really such a wonderful job until you get the grading. Um, until you get the extra paperwork you have to do. Until you, you realize that you have to work like overtime, not because you were instructed to, not because you're getting paid extra for it, but because you just have to to get the work done that you need to at a baseline level. Um... That's just so aggravating, I think. Um, I shouldn't have to, on my own time, that I'm not getting paid extra for, grade a number of papers that is the equivalent of a novel in like a reasonable amount of time for kids to have their feedback and remember what they wrote in the first place. Um, it's just... It's too much work. There needs to be, like, an assistant teacher. There needs to be someone who's, like, interning or something, doing, helping do paperwork. This should be a KO. Yeah, 
please move forward with us. We could have already KO'd, but I think we still get there anyway. There we go. Nice. But, yeah, like, if, uh, if the entire job of teaching were just me being in the classroom with the kids and interacting with them in the same ways otherwise, 100% I'm still there. Um, it's... It's a very, very cool job. And you, as you start to get better at it, you start to feel like, wow, I am really doing good things for people. Um, now your first year, that will not happen. <laughs> your first year, unless you were like raised by teachers and have already had so much practice that you just kind of know what you're doing. Um, literally it's teacher's kids that I find are actually able to weather the first year the best. If you're not in that situation, you are going to suck at it, year one. It's going to be bad. It's going to be embarrassingly bad. You're going to tell stories later and be like, wow, I cannot believe I was that bad. Um, and that that's kind of a universal experience, even from like the best, most veteran, most respectable teachers that I've ever worked with. Um, it's, they, they talk about, yeah, I mean, you, you didn't see me on my first year. He... You know, tugging at their collars a little bit. There we go. Good job, good job. Uh, Rainmaker's out in front of everybody, so they're probably going to die here. Um, I don't know. I think they might get help. Part of it is the other team's not going to rotate super well on this. Literally just running away. Okay, here we go, here we go. There are three people right there. We, oh, if we survive this guy, we get the bomb rush in. Alright. Uh, it leaves it at a 1v1. I don't think we win that. Oh, no, it's not a 1v1. We're literally getting out of spawn now. We all lost. Okay. Well, we tried. Almost got there. Hmm. Well, the nice thing about this is that uh, they were not expecting me to be there. So, cool. Oh, man. Those jumps are a little risky. That should get somebody. There we go. That's another one. And that's the quad. Okay. I don't paint you on this, right? Not if my dynamo doesn't paint with me. Uh, I need a bomb rush. I need a bomb rush. Well. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, I didn't even get a pick with that. No, we have a disconnect. Are you kidding me? Uh, why does it have to be on hard mode? Uh, we can roll out here. We've got time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nobody's in the way of it. That was entirely too close. Keep coming forward at it. Thank you. Oh my god. We might actually lose by KO here. Uh, I think we have painted for now. But not for long. Oh my god. I just need to splat them as soon as they pick it up. That's probably game over. I think we lose this. Wait, wait, 1v1? You're cracked? You're actually goaded with the sauce? Let's go! Yo, we saved those! Get this out of here! <laughs> oh my god, this is C-Rank. Okay! <laughs> All right, let's go. Push forward, buddy. Push forward. We're not going to be able to KO off that. We should have been able to, but... Movement. Okay, that's two. Last one. And... Oh, man. We really needed that guy out of the way. <sighs> I don't like having to 
get a quad to do something. If something goes wrong here, we can very quickly lose this. Okay, good job, Dynamo. Just roll them. I, I almost don't want to do anything here. I almost just want to, like, let it stay here. We can we can reset it. That's fine. We'll get one with the bomb rush. We'll get two. We'll get we'll get a wipe with the bomb rush. We'll we'll run it. We'll run it. <laughs> oh my god. These are the games where you get high KA, right? These are the games because it's hard to KO in the three v four. That guy's out of position. I might be able to push this forward. I gotta not get dropped on from behind. We can just sit it right here for a bit. It's probably going to trigger overtime if I go down here. All right. Um, might be okay. Yeah, because they're down below it. They are not moving to the Rainmaker to try and pop it in time. They're probably not paying attention to the time that's left too much. There we go. Okay. We saved it. <laughs> No, I will not be, uh... Yeah, okay, there's a 30 bomb. Uh, I will not be working to get, um... New gear or anything. No, I'm definitely smurfing. Like, I almost feel like this is not great content because it encourages smurfing. And I'm trying to do this for educational purposes because I think there is a lot of value in seeing the mistakes that people will make at lower levels. Um, and, like... Even for players who are better and know this advice already, it's a good reminder that, like, hey, these are things that people had to learn at some point. It helps for, like, coaches to know, like, oh, right, like, this is the level at which people are still having trouble aiming their weapons. And now we flank. Nobody expects flanks. They're so unexpected. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oopsie daisies. The smell of Smurf. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, they know the sponge. No, they don't know the sponge. They just decided to go around in the other direction for some reason. Well, it worked. There it is. How many ranks do you bet you'll skip? If I keep winning and win every single one of them, I'm anticipating I jump to like B, like not B minus, straight up to B. Challenge yourself to win without splatting anyone? Mm -hmm. I'd rather just get up to the higher levels quicker. The one thing that makes me feel better about being in this rank is that I will get out of it very quickly. Um, this is you know this is my bar on three wins. Typically, if you win every single one of them, it will take five wins, and then you will skip all the way out of C. Yeah, Candy, that is an effect that happens. Like, if you drop back and forth between two ranks, you start to feel like I have experience from the higher rank that is helping me a lot in this rank. Um, that's something that especially happens from like X to S plus. Oh, they've got a sploosh. I should not have challenged that. I was like, I'm hammer spray. This is fine. It's not fine. My weapon does get out DPS by that one. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I need to pay a little bit more attention to the game here just so that I can, like, be talking about it as we go. Mm. It's only worth it if it gets another bomb. Okay. Uh, 2v2. Not the end of the world. Oh, this is a terrible jump. I should immediately die. They're gonna get pop. My teammate's gonna die because they're just gonna run into the pop. <sighs> Alright. Gotta get a little serious here. Okay. Great flank. Great flank. This SOP player is... They're, they're not X rank, but they definitely know a thing or two about the game. Okay, nice. Should be safe. A 
Okay. That'll give him some time to get some points. I don't know if he's going to KO off this in time. Yeah. But 9 is a good push. Oh, our end parry is DC'd. Cool. That's one thing that I also noticed. Uh, the lower ranks tend to disconnect more. Um, and I mean, it makes sense, because, like, you lose... If I keep trying to challenge this freaking sploosh. Why am I doing this? Um, it makes sense, because you lose if you disconnect, right? So, you're more likely to be able to get higher on a stable internet connection. <laughs> I was hoping they would run into that. Nice follow-up, Anna. Cool, that's one of them. Yeah, I knew I had that one, because that one, they were outnumbered. Cool. You're safe. Just come with us. We're good, we're good. See? Keep coming, keep coming. Move the Rainmaker. Okay, I, I understand your hesitance a little bit more. But also, we could have made it a lot further than we did. We pushed up with the rest of the team. This is actually a, a really lucky map to get for this particular weapon. Curling Bomb Rush doesn't have any ledges that are going to mess it up. All right, all right. Give me the Rainmaker. Let's get this moving. Because I can slay with this one. Oh, God. Maybe not if they're right behind me. Oh, let's go, Anna. You're cracked. Hell yeah. Good stuff. I'm proud of both my teammates. These are all of the votes that I took off of that Twitter poll. There are a few more that got added in since, but none of them substantially change it. Like, you, you, it needed two votes to be chosen. And so I... Uh, so it's going to be Aerospray, it's going to be Grim Range, GooTuber, and then I'm not going to do Crapid for now. One, because I'm more familiar with that weapon, and two, because... Um, there are also two votes that are not listed here for Steve Remix. I, I should just update that to two. And Splatling is a much more different weapon and a weapon that I'm less familiar with. And so I will have more of a challenge working that one up. Oh, I don't have Restream Chat on. Let's fix that. There it is. There you guys are. Say hi to YouTube, everybody. Yeah. There were enough votes for GooTubers, so we're doing that. That one's going to be hard. Uh, chargers are my worst weapon class, and that one is the worst Charger. So, uh, they've got a Sploosh and an Arrow Spray. Uh, I don't think we beat this. Well, uh, yeah, we don't beat this. Oh, Brella player, that was clutch. Let's go Meteor. Nice. Okay. Ah uh, ha ha. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> all right. And now we just push all the way through. By the way, that trick that I put in the TikTok about uh, jumping as you're about to get up a ledge especially important on the Rainmaker pedestal. Because a lot of the time what the opponents will try to do to stop you is they'll try to paint the side of the pedestal. Um, so if you jump, you're more likely to be able to get up over the top of enemy ink. Oh, I need to play another one. I thought that was going to do it. But the XP counting system outside of Japan is harder to reach X rank. Is that true? The system is bigger. There are more players in it. 
if you are, say, S plus 8 in North America, and you try to play an S plus 8 in Japan, it's going to be harder, probably. Um, the way that the powers are adjusted is different. Uh, it takes a slightly different score in some cases to get to a certain rank in Japan, um, owing to the adjustments that they made for the differences in the populations. So I couldn't really tell you. Uh, we have someone who's not painting the shield. Uh, oh, oh, but we got a pick. We got a pick, so we're good. We'll just keep this up. And in fact, we flank because they're just going to be focused on painting. Ah. Oh, it's Sup. We must play against him this time. Good job, teammates. Uh, am I getting flanked? Nah, I'm good. I'm getting attacked from the front, but they're not paying any attention to me, so I can just shoot him in the back. I was the last person to die in that sequence of the Rainmaker. Oh man, they've got a bomb rush. Uh, I made this way probably baited my teammates there. Good patience on the Rainmaker carrier not to run into that. Oh, I like this idea. I like this idea. I jump in so that I bait them into shooting me instead of the Rainmaker. Ah, uh, it didn't work out that way. Pretty. Ooh, I don't like how close they're standing to the Rainmaker as they get jumps in. I'll jump to this. I'm probably not going to focus this. Okay, this at least gets us a few more points. Alright. Gets two of them out of the way, but I think we still lose Pop. Unless this guy gets the kill. Um, This is probably a terrible idea. Got an assist. It's still not enough. Oh, man. The, the Rainmaker is not in there anymore, guys. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Oh, let's go, teammate. <laughs> There's one coming from the right. I'm going to shield them from that. Still one here. You got this, you got this. Oh, they're ballering. Well, we probably still get it up, right? Nice. Yeah, because a baller can't shoot you off the Rainmaker pedestal, so as soon as he's up off the ground, the baller literally cannot stop him. And he's probably going to get body blocked by the teammates before it ever gets to the podium anyway. So, there you go. Alright, let's see where we go. Yeah, straight to neutral B. That's what I thought it would be. So, there we go. That's a start.